So here's Mr. Hefe in the morning. He's waiting for his treats. Aren't you, puppy? Oh, yeah. You're waiting for your treats. Like, Mommy, give me my treats. Give me my treats. Uh-huh. There's Mr. Hefe eating his little treats. Yeah, so good, isn't it? And it's so beautiful outside. The sun's out today. The strip's really quiet. Some clouds moving through, hopefully. We don't run into any rain in Flagstaff because um, apparently it's been like really bad in Flagstaff on Route 66. All right, so we're loading up this morning and here's Mr. Hefe. He just waits so patiently by the door and then we start to get everything in the car. He gets super excited and starts barking. So that's the only habit. He does want a little happy bark, but he just doesn't want to be left behind. That's so cute. Aren't you a sweetheart? You're such a little sweetheart. You just don't want to be left behind. You're so excited to go. All right, so here we are standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. So here we are at the Painted Desert. This is outside, or in, outside Winslow, Arizona downtown. It's amazing. We just drove out in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden you can see all of this. It's so cool. cool to stay here someday back in the day when it was open but there it is the painted desert inn 1987 national historic landmark so here we are we left the painted desert and now we're in the petrified forest and it, sort of yeah it looks a lot like the badlands in south dakota Very cool. I've seen a lot of Petrograph. Oh, this is called the teepees. I thought they were going to be like real teepees. I thought they were going to be real teepees too, but I guess they're just calling the little, the little mountains teepees. Very cool. So here we are at the El Rancho Hotel. We spent the night here last night and we are packing up to head out this morning. Um, I'm about to go check out, we've got the car loaded, which is a big ordeal, but you can see how awesome this hotel is. Isn't it amazing? It's really cool. They have a great gift shop too. Okay, so today is, what is today? Friday. Friday, um, day 32. And you can see the birds flying around. They're cliff swallows, and those are the little holes on nests on the side of the cliffs are from the birds. Um, we are at El Moro National Monument. It's the second monument that was established in the USA, and there's like a pool of water here. And that's why all the travelers came here along the years in order to um, get water and take a rest as they were traveling thousands of miles. There's lots of inscriptions on the rocks, so we're going to see what that's like. All right, so you can see the petroglyphs here. And then you can see there is a really fancy 
script which came from a person who was in the army on an expedition in 1857. Number eight, he was a man in charge of 25 camels used by Lieutenant Bell in 1857. Another fancy handwriting. Efe's doing good. He's making the, the walk. We didn't really think that he could, but... Wow. It does look like a waterfall. It's crazy. Nine. Here's an overall picture at the very end. We're at the end of the trail, so we're leaving. Hefe did really good. Look at the crevice there in the middle. It's amazing. Hefe did really good. He's making it the whole way. Here we are at the, we're at the visitor center for the El Moro National Monument. And you can see over there, really nice visitor center, super nice rangers. Um, Hefe actually made the whole walk. He did really good, about three quarters of a mile. He was even running a little bit, so he's going to be whooped though. Alright, so here we are at El Mapais National Monument. We're not sure exactly what's going on here, but I read there were lava flows and we've seen lots of um, what looks like lava flows. Um, our lava rocks just throughout the landscape. Um, it's just a big lava flow. That's cool. Look at the crevices. You can walk around. Oh, it just goes back around. It just goes back around that way, though. I don't really get this, but it's cool. That thing didn't even get out of its bed. He just stared at me. <laughs> There's the town of Madrid. We just got here to our little cabin, miner's cabin, in Madrid, New Mexico. Isn't it cute? We got like a little outdoor patio with chairs and our own little alien. Let's go inside. We carried our stuff inside, but I really haven't looked around very much. There's no air, so the windows are open. We have a code that you put on the door to get in. That looks cute. So here's our, our living room. We have a TV. Mr. Hefe climbed up the stairs. He's had a big day. He's climbed stairs. He's walked three quarters of a mile. Um, Hefe's bed. I don't know. I guess that's like heater. Dehumidifier. Here's the little, the little family um, dining room. It's kind of cute. It's got some books. Step up here into the kitchen. Um, oh, it's like a full kitchen. That's bizarre. It's like chalkboard over the fridge. And um, yeah, cool. And the little alien. It's got cute glasses. Mr. Hefe! That is so cute. All right, let's see what we got. Bathroom. Oh, look, it's the incinerator toilet. That's great. The shower. He had a little sand spur in his foot, but we got it out. So now this is up to the bedroom. Oh, it's nice and cool. Oh, it's like a little sitting area. How cute. But maybe that's the, the rest of the owners up there. Maybe their own house. And then we've got the bedroom. Open windows. I think Chuck said it's in the 70s right now. Beautiful bedspread. It's so pretty and bright. Airy. And then you can look down. Oh, down into the town. There's the mine shaft. Tavern. That's where we're going to have 
dinner tonight and drinks. But this is cute. This is nice. A lot better than staying in Albuquerque. Um, we're going to be here for the one night and then tomorrow we move on to Santa Fe. So here we are. We just left our B&B and are heading out. And this little town, we walked Tepe down here earlier. It's like a little touristy town. <laughs> Tourist and artsy. There's like cars everywhere. It's cleared out a little bit. It's 4.30 right now. But I like this place because they've got like those flowers like that lady had in her yard. And that peacock is cool too. Dirt roads. That looks like river would do a lot of damage there. And they have flash floods probably. Look at all the mailboxes. <laughs> kind of cool. There's the gunky folk soap and sundries. I said art too. It's like a little grocery store over to the right. There's the Miner Shaft Tavern. Looks like some more little stores down there to the right. Yep. Do you want to walk down there or no? Another art store. This is the other part of the Miner Shaft, the Miner Shaft Cantina. I think that's where we're going to eat tonight. Chuck said that they have live music. We're hoping it's. Oh wow! So it's in our. It's at five o'clock in the part that we're going to go eat at. Yeah, this has museum entrance, so I'm not sure what that's about. This is an old mining town, so you could kind of see where the shafts were earlier. It was kind of torn down, but yeah. Mine shaft. This is another little restaurant, the second restaurant in town. Chuck said it's run by a guy from who used to go to Auburn, so that's kind of cool. There's the Madrid Old Coal Town Museum. So we thought shop stop, but they really didn't. We got more shops here. And here, everything's very artsy. The moon bow, herbs and treasures. I think that's just a house. Oh my gosh, look, it just keeps going. Wow. Okay, so it's Sunday, August the 22nd. And we are off today into Texas, which is exciting. We ran into this windmill farm, which is huge but like Chuck said I guess this is the windmills that failed during the cold winter and they had that big storm and they all iced over but today it looks like they're all working except maybe one um, way in the back so oh you see two yeah hopefully they show up in the camera because they go on forever it's pretty cool but so yesterday didn't go like we planned Santa Fe was not good to us there was no parking um, lots of just cars and touristy and pedestrians walking and shops and very masky which meant we couldn't go in really and buy anything or, or look at anything so we decided to skip santa fe and we moved on to to kamari and um put us closer to getting out of new mexico because we just really didn't enjoy new mexico much at all um, we had two great places to stay but other than that not really great things to see. Um, anyway, so we're off to Texas today. This will probably be our last day on Route 66, but we're going to make most of it, have fun, and then we're going to head for home. Alright, here we are in the middle of a field in Texas at Cadillac Ranch, which is a bunch of Cadillacs that have just been painted all kinds of colors.
kind of corny. I guess they have cans of spray paint still around so you can spray some more. <laughs> I just took us so was it good and he said, well, it is what it is. <laughs> kind of like a corny touristy stop. There we go. Alright, so here we are at the Big Texan. I'm gonna head into the gift shop. Chuck just got back, he said it was awesome. Home of the free 72 ounce steak. You have one hour to eat it. Oh, and they have a brewery. That's the beer Chuck brought, I guess. All right, so here we are inside the Big Texan. Ah, look at the huge bear. That's cool. So the restaurant's over that way. Got a little fudge ice cream area. A bar. Look at these games. You can ride on a saddle and shoot a gun. It's kind of cool. There's, they also have a brewery here. Chuck brought some beer, so he was excited. This is a cool room. Slot machines. It's a buffalo, a moose. And then they, it looks like they've got like a big patio area in the back. Little stage coach. Mining stuff. All right, I'll head back out to the. All right, so here we are at the Palo Duro Canyon State Park. This is in um, Texas, and it's called the second largest canyon in the United States, I think they said, in the Little Grand Canyon of Texas. It's pretty. We drove down into the canyon for a little bit, and then um, we are going to go on to our next stop. We may stop at the visitor center, which has another overlook. All right, so here we are at the visitor center. You can see a little bit more here than from our last stop, but a different angle. August the 23rd, and we made it to Texas yesterday. Um, did some stops which I videotaped. We spent the night here at the Western Motel. Um, it was a good night. It was very clean and it's been, you know, deeply renovated. Uh, so it was a good, good night. Um, we didn't have a lot to eat for dinner because there's the places that are good for dinner here were closed on Sundays. So one place, the guy died a year ago. So that place is now closed. Um, here is the happy ATM, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know what's happy about it. It does light up in neon at night, but I forgot to make video last night. I don't know that it would have turned out the greatest. And then there is the Kanoko Tower. That was um, what in the movie Cars um, that they modeled the tow truck service station after. And it's pretty cool. So we are now heading out on our way to, um, what are we going to? Texarkana, Texarkana today. We'll be going to Texarkana, and then um, Mr. Hefe's had his walk. We gotta feed him first. Finish loading the car, 
and maybe be home in two days. Hey, little sexy boy, aren't you so cute? Yes. All right, let's go. Eat. This is the Shamrock Mountain Hero. We're about to go through downtown in a second. The Burrito Hut, which was closed yesterday. The Taco Shack. Doesn't look like that's been open in a long time. There was just not a lot of choices to eat here. Um, Rusty's, I guess, was supposed to be really good, but it's closed on Sunday. And a couple of the other places she gave me, they were both closed on Sunday. So we had pizza at the gas station, and it was pretty dang good. It was Hunt Brothers, like we have in Tennessee. But this is downtown, right here, and you'll see the Shamrock Water Tower, which is supposed to be famous. We drove over here last night and just really didn't see why. But um, supposedly it's the second largest water tower of its kind in Texas, or tallest, I think mean, that's what it is. There's supposed to be a shamrock, um, a Blarney stone down here somewhere, but I really don't know where it is. But that's the tower. It seems like the stone would probably be in there, but anyway. Alright, so here we are at the famous Bucky's. You can see all the ice coolers, the grills, the gas station, and the parking lot. I taped this on the way out, and I kid you not, there was not a parking space in this whole lot, and the line was out to the road, but um, Chuck and I are stopping here on the way back on the road trip. It's just not near as crowded this time. They have clothes, Alabama stuff, shoes, hats. Um, food is supposed to be part of the best part. Um, jerky. Uh, I really want a cinnamon roll. I don't know if I'm gonna find them. It sure smells good in here. Those are the nuts. Barbecue. Barbecue is good. Do you have cinnamon rolls? Where are they? This one's a bolt right there. The bolt right there. The booth? The little thing right there that, that's like a. Oh, that thing. thing. Okay, thank you. So anyway, this is the store. The line's like not long at all. Um, I'm gonna buy some food and then um, go to the bathroom, buy some food and get out of here. Mr. Hepe, look where we are. Can you make it? What you think? Let's go inside. It is so colorful. Get down the stairs. That's a good boy. Hey. Looks dry. It does look dry. Go check the 
Yeah. What you think? Are you super happy to be home, Hefe? Are you super happy to be home? You wanna check out your yard? Oh yeah, he can't go out into the side. <laughs> Don't fall over. I think he's happy to be home. <laughs>